Peter. Hello. Get everything else up. Just so you know, we are being recorded at this time. Yes. Would you make me a co host? Yes. Was well, somebody else here? She disappeared. Yeah, she Hello. 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 This group is not the best at attending on time. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Just need one more for a quorum. Well, then it won't be with us, but I haven't heard from anybody else, so.
Anybody have Britt's number? Yep. No? I just texted her. Okay, I texted uh, Shoshana and Sarah. Great. Um, there's a woman named Miriam on, and um, I'm letting you speak if you want to say something, Miriam. Oh, hi. Sorry, I don't use Zoom a lot. Um, I'm not sure if you can see me. Um, we cannot see you unless you become a panelist, but we can hear you. Ah, uh, okay, cool. Um, yeah, I haven't been to meetings before. I was just kind of interested, um, partly because I live near McClellan, which is um, has had a lot of trees cut down recently. And I'm curious about getting trees planted there, planting some trees there. Okay. Um, Alan, do you want to talk about that um, while we wait for the quorum to have an official meeting? Sure. Miriam, um, where on McClellan do you live? If you don't mind, if you don't want to say it's fine. This, just oh. to also reiterate that this is being recorded and will be able to be seen on the town website uh, after Friday. Okay. Um, yeah, that's fine. Um, I'm not sure how to, I'm happy to enable my video. I just am not used to things where I need to be a panelist or something. Um, I actually don't live on McClellan. I live on a little street that's right off of McClellan, Page okay. Street. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, we have, there was a lot of trees, a lot of private trees came down on McClellan and some of the town evergreens that were between the sidewalk and the road came down as well on McClellan. Yeah. So. So we do, we do plan on replanting um, on McClellan Street. Uh, most of the replanting locations will be on private property because it just isn't any room in the public way there, um, except for trees on, uh, I guess that would be the north side of the Clown Street. Um, there is some room in the setback, almost in the right of way to plant oh. town trees. I think we planted one, two, three, three trees, four trees there last fall, um, but there's more to do. Oh, yeah. Um, will that be part of like a, um, a public tree planting thing like there was last Saturday? Um, hopefully, uh, it'll probably be something we do in the fall mm -hmm. on McClellan Street. Cool. That's probably one of the things we'll discuss uh, mm -hmm. briefly this evening is the next, next location. Cool. That's good to know. Um, do you know anything about why all the trees were taken down? Yes. <laughs> so um, there, the white pine that were between the sidewalk and the road um, were taken down because they um, really had outgrown their location and that the, and were sort of trapped. Um, they couldn't really grow any bigger, and because of the way they had been pruned over the years for the wires. They were all these multiple leaders with poor branch attachment points. Um, the trees were just sort of self-destructing. So they had been on my radar for a long time to do something with and the town decided to repave the sidewalk on Collin Street, mm -hmm. um, which was pretty bad around these trees in particular. So we took the opportunity there to hold a tree hearing to um, take the trees down so we can fix the sidewalk and, and replant. There were a, a number of trees taken down, um, large Norway spruce that were on private property um, that the owner took down. Mm -hmm. And they were, that was a large section of um, kind of the open space over there. Yeah, I think we saw some being taken down and then there were like a bunch more, I guess the ones on private property came down to kind of in a short amount of time, it was kind of striking. So. Yes. I'm um, not sure if my video is on currently or not, but it's not. The only way you can be, uh, we can see you on this would be to make you a panelist, which I'm happy to do. Okay. Yeah. If you wouldn't mind trying that again, I'm happy to enable that. Okay. There we go. 
And we now have a quorum, although Julian has disappeared from view, but oh, there you are, Miriam. Yeah. Uh, Julian, I assume, still here. So um, we officially have a quorum. Um, we can start the meeting. We were just uh, filling in. Miriam, for those, for I guess the Sarah who came late, um, lives on near McClellan Street. And so she was asking about those trees. So welcome. Uh, the agenda, um, we're not sharing anymore, but uh, first thing is just, are there any public comments besides what Miriam said? So you have someone with you, Miriam? Oh, yes, this is my partner, Inga. Okay. okay. Do you have anything you want to say or no? Oh, nothing that she hasn't already covered. Okay. And uh, if you want to put your email address in the um, chat, I will add you to our mailing list. Oh, cool. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. If we'll see if that works. All right. Uh, so approval of the March minutes. Board member, committee members, everyone good? Ellen? Okay. So minutes are approved. Um, hours, we collect volunteer hours, and then that goes into our Three City USA application at the end of the year. Sarah? Four. Okay. Julian? Nine. Okay. Ellen? Four. Four. And I think I did about 10. Henry, can I ask you a question that just occurred to me? Yes. Um, so on the when we do the second Saturday tree plantings, do you keep track of the number of people that volunteered and how long they volunteered for on those plantings? I estimate that, yeah. OK. So um, I'll probably add over half a dozen people. I'd say add 12 more. Hours? Uh, 10, uh, 10, because it's not all of them stayed that long. So, uh, yeah, I have a volunteer column and I have members of the committee column. So, when we do the Arbor Day um, volunteer, they also break down like youth hours and they count those separately from um, adult hours. Um, so, if we can, if there's a way to track youth separate from adult. Um, okay. Is Julian a youth or an adult? <laughs> yeah. I am uh, under 18 until this uh, June. I yeah, guess uh, you'd be considered a youth. Joke. Since you're a committee member, I'm counting you as an adult. So. Uh, that's okay. fine. Um, moving on, let's see what's on the agenda. The chair's report, I guess, is next. Um, Greenfield's uh, tree committee has a tree nursery, and they're having an open house this Saturday. Oops, hold on. Yeah. Henry, I'm sorry, can I interrupt? Is anyone taking minutes? Thank you. No one is because uh, yet. Yeah. Do you want to do that, please? Sure. <laughs> it's going to take me a minute to get a document open, so. Okay, yeah. Um, well, I'll make these announcements. Um, what they get in the minutes is not as important. Um, so Greenfield, they, they have a tree nursery, which we had years ago. But theirs is quite extensive. They have about 150 trees they're growing out for the town. And they're having an open house from noon to two Saturday. Um, you can show up. They're giving out free trees and you can see the operation. And then if you want to help out from one to four, there's a work day. And that'll continue on Sunday, the work day. So it might be good. I'm working this weekend. I can't come, but uh, I can't go there. But if anyone wants to do that, that would be a nice thing to do and report back since we're talking about doing a tree nursery again at some point. Um, when it, I'm sorry, I, I missed the date. When are they doing Saturday, that? This Saturday, the 15th. Okay. Yeah, and the work day is the 15th and 16th. Um, and then, um, Julian, you probably know more about this, but I got an email about the Energy and Climate Action Committee and Solar Bylaw Group We're both meeting this week. Yes, that. <clears throat> That is correct. I can also confirm that um, they're working on the solar survey and getting a good amount of responses um, on that. So that's an update. Great. Okay. Are you going to attend those meetings or? I am. Um, I believe both of them are out of the school day. So I believe I can attend both those meetings. And um, just thinking they also are going to be planning for the sustainability fest. Great. And that's what we need to do also. Yes. If that's on our agenda. Uh, the other thing is I sent uh, Scott Merzbach 
all the information about all the activities we're doing this month and we got a nice column in the paper that along with Brit's um, letter to the editor was nice. Um, although she said that as a private citizen, she did not mention she was a member of the committee. So, um, And then we heard from a group on uh, through our email that I called, uh, it's a company called Orange Theory Fitness in Hadley and they wanted to encourage their members to come help out. So they may show up at one of our plantings, but they didn't show up this time. So I don't know. Um, the only other thing I have uh, besides what's on the agenda is I went to the South Amherst High School, former high school campus, and I um, did a lot of the pruning of the fruit trees there. We have an orchard at the former South Amherst High School, the, which was an elementary school before that across the common from the library. And those trees are for anybody to pick fruit. So we planted those seven or eight years ago um, in conjunction with the school when it was operating. But um, anyway, the trees look good and uh, hopefully we'll get more fruit this year. Uh, that's all I have. Um, Julian, do you wanna do the vice chair report? Sure, so two updates were about the ECAC and the Solar Bylaw Working Group. Um, just noting those two meetings. Uh, another update I was going to share was that I've talked to a lot of folks who are interested in the Sustainability Fest coming back this year and hearing from us and working with that. And then um, I've also talked to some folks on Greenwich and Longmeadow who were interested in getting more trees there. So that is a potential location. We obviously have McClellan and um, Fearing as well. Yeah, and Woodside. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Or no, we did we did Woodside. You do you mean Orchard? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That area. All right. Good. Um, Alan, Tree Wardens report. Sure. Um, uh, we had a nice uh, Henry, um, Julian, and I did a nice walk with the UMass class on uh, Wednesday or last Thursday last week, one of those days. Wednesday. Um, Wednesday. Um, and it's an opportunity for the students in this urban forestry class at UMass to come out and kind of see what's going on in the community, how how the tree committee works, how the tree warden works, some of the um, issues, you know, of running a urban forestry program and, and trying to keep trees alive and healthy in a built environment. So, and then um, we met on Kendrick Park and then we walked um, from there, crossing over East Pleasant Street to all the new buildings that are going up and then down Kellogg Ave where we're currently doing the sidewalk renovation there. And we discussed some of the root zone protections, um, things we're doing to protect the big oak trees on Kellogg Ave. Um, it's something I've done for, uh, the entire time that I've been tree warden, even when I was volunteer tree warden in town. Um, and uh, it's it's always been a lot of fun. It was really good to have Henry and Julian there to, to talk about the committee. Fit nicely. Um, tonight is the house move from sunset. If you remember the tree hearing for the development taking place on the corner of Fearing and Sunset. The last house is being moved uh, today, this evening, um, and it's going down Sunset, out onto Massachusetts Avenue, down North Pleasant Street, through the roundabout, down East Pleasant Street, and then straight down towards West Street, across from Shea Street, and that's where the new house, uh, house's new home will be. Uh, so there has been some pruning going on by contractor. Um, by law, we cannot stop a house from moving down the street. So there's an old law in the book the public way essentially says if someone wants to move a house, nothing can stop it. Um, <laughs> so we obviously work with the, the movers and they, it was actually a big help. They actually pruned a lot of trees um, that had poor clearance over the roads. So, um, and they did a pretty good job pruning overall. So uh, let's see, undergrounding utilities. So um, College Street, from South Pleasant Street, where Northampton Road comes up, meets um, 
South Pleasant and then turns into College Street and goes down towards the substation. So from South Pleasant Street to the substation, Eversource is going to be undergrounding an all new conduit system for um, power lines. Um, there's one tree left on that side of the road in the grass belt, it's a Norway maple. And I will be posting a tree hearing for that tree to come down. Um, there is also talk of undergrounding the utility lines on the other side of the street, um, sort of on the Valentine Hall side of College Street. Um, if that happens, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity to complete a completely new uh, streetscape from the center of town by the common all the way down to the substation. Um, so the, the underground, the utility uh, conduit going underground this spring after Amherst College um, homecoming um, graduation, um, that's for new power cables. It's not for the existing power cables, I'm told. So the other power cables on the far other side of the street, um, they're not part of this current phase of the project, but there's talk of doing that. So I have to post this hearing next month. So we'll have a site visit to schedule for next month's tree here um, committee meeting. Um, let's see. I think that's it for a tree award report. Thank you. Um, Sarah, you want to do a treasurer report? No update. No update. Um, you didn't check. I'm wondering, did the $25 check get deposited? I, I, I'm not sure. Alan? Alan? That? Are you talking to me? Did the $25 check that I dropped off at your place? I did receive it and I gave it to um, okay. Sarah in the office to deposit. So okay. should have deposited by now. Great. So Sarah, if you could keep an eye out for that, it'd be great. I, I'd say that there's going to be a, um, this is under tree planting, but we can talk about it now. Um, we need to do a vote for, unless we already did, I don't remember, to spend money uh, for tree planting. Uh, Till July 1st when the new budget hits. Did we do a authorization for every month? We did. We did something we did. that was kind of in perpetuity, but I don't know the length that it would be active for. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I have been told, so I, the trees that we planted, the 16 trees, the best quote came from Amherst Nursery. It was $3,252 for the 16 trees. Um, yeah. 18 trees, I'm sorry. 18 trees. You probably saw smoke coming on my head. <laughs> Add that column up. Um, yeah, so it was $3,252 for 18 trees. Um, so and is that, that bill will be in. Is that going on our expense or in your expense? That's on the, the tree fund expense account. Mm -hmm. The new the money that they talked about. For? Go ahead, Ellen. I'm sorry, what were those trees purchased for? The, the, sec the second Saturday tree plant. Okay. Yeah. They had a, I just, did the math that appears they were about $180, $190 a tree? Yes. Yeah. So, okay, so that's coming out of our budget. Um, we'll have to look up whether that was covered, but maybe we should just say, do we approve that expense? All in favor? You could, do a, you could do a vote. Okay. Or so you could make a motion and do a vote. I propose that we uh, budget, that we agree to spend $3,200 for the trees that we already spent and bought. $3,252? $3,252 for the 18 trees that were already planted. Um, all in favor? 
Okay, it passes um, unanimously. And then um, should we do that for next month or? Um, if you um, if you don't think the past, I yeah. I I do feel like we have had one in the past. You had one, and I wonder if I don't know. Um, it said for the season. I think it was for the season, or was it for? I don't know. I don't remember the wording on that. So if it was just for one year of planting, was it a calendar year or was it a planting season year? Mm -hmm. Question. I don't remember us having a termination on it, but I think the wording was something like during the planting season, which applies for every year that we do planting. You know, to the, I think the idea was to exclude expenses for buying trees during the winter months when we're not planting um, and during the, the month that we take off when it's hot. Um, so I can check the wording, but I believe we already, we kind of covered it. Okay. In perpetuity. Yes, if you can uh, check on that for next meeting, we'll, we can either update it or it's set. Okay. Okay. Great. Thank you. Um, okay, what's next? Uh, social media report, anything, Julian? No, I posted the picture of a dog digging a hole for Bennett, <laughs> but that is about it. <laughs> And did that get the huge uh, response that he was expecting? Uh, pe people liked it here and there, but only only five or six, I think. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, OK, so presentation and discussions, the Mary Maple Love Letters exhibit. I think that was Britt, or was that Ellen? Not you, so Britt. Not me. OK. Um, Arbor month plans, we pretty much planned out. Uh, we have Arbor Day, Alan wanted to uh, me to share something. It's gonna be a whole event around the big tree at Strong Street. Uh, let me see if I can find that flyer. There it is. This is gonna be in conjunction with Amherst College and with the um, Amherst Historical Society and the Amherst Library, the Jones Library. So I will share this. And you can see, let's see if I can find it. Here it goes. All right, everyone see that? Yes. Great. So it's it's pretty exciting. It's gonna be um, a talk by Alan and then this, uh, this uh, guest speaker is gonna talk about big trees and then uh, it's gonna be a tree walk on Amherst College after that. And then back to the library for uh, a children's book reading and then planting the new sycamore. So um, Shoshana and I had a quick meeting, a Zoom meeting the other day with the Jones Library. Um, they're going to have a uh, children's book reading and a craft event based on trees um, that the teen lounge group is going to participate in. And then from there, we're gonna go over to um, the His Amherst History Museum and, and do the tree planting of the, the new um, sycamore tree. Uh, the noontime hour this, uh, lecture with uh, Dr. Kevin Smith from US Forest Service. I think I've said this before, but uh, just to repeat it. Um, you know, he gives a very entertaining, I believe entertaining, <laughs> presentation that's you know science based on tree biology you know the difference between uh, a mature you know old big tree and younger trees they they really do respond differently um, to the environment around them and they they grow uh, their energy supply system is very different than young trees it's pretty interesting he's very entertaining um, so if you want to learn you know, about how big trees work, uh, this is an excellent opportunity. I hope to get Mass Certified Arborist, ISA credits, um, any other kind of professional landscape, um, um, Nurseman Association, those kinds of credits. I'm going to see how many I can get to encourage people um, 
who work with or around or plan buildings around old trees um, to go to this so they can learn something about preserving big trees. And Amherst College, Amherst College will be um, hosting a walk and discussing uh, their big trees on campus and um, their tree planting program on campus as well. So, and they will be planting a tree. Great. And that's on April 28th, uh, which is the last Friday of April. So I expect to be at it and uh, whoever else wants to join me, that'd be great. Um, and I will forward this piece of paper to Scott um, Resbeck so we can get more information in the paper. And um, Julian, and if you can talk to Shoshana, make sure it gets out on all our social media. Yeah, I, would, I just want to preference this, that this is a draft. So this is not... <laughs> Oh. It's not a final, a final version. Um, I haven't you know, proofed this or anything. This is literally finished it this afternoon and wanted to um, show it to the committee. So um, okay. uh, the schedule is right, but it's not um, a final draft for a press release, but you want to start, you know, uh, okay. sending it out there. It's fine as long as you realize Look yes. at look at it and make any corrections that should be made grammatically here. <laughs> okay, yeah, I can do that, and uh, or I can wait. I'll, I'll do that, and uh, I'll make sure Bennett puts out a special newsletter mentioning this. And, and the the the, um, the link that's in this, the coal assembly room link, um, that's not for that was that's an internal link. It wasn't intended to go out public. It just shows the room where the presentation is taking place. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that. All right, uh, good. Any comments on this? No? Okay. Looks great. Good. So I will stop sharing. I'll be able to see all you guys again. Uh, just look quickly at the. So the sustainability festival is next. Um, we really need to have a schedule who's going to be working when. Um, the setup, I'll, I'll get the. Um, the canopy that I got last year, or whenever we last had an event. Um, and then we'll need people to staff the booth. And we're giving out the pawpaw seedlings and the tulip tree seedlings. Do you have them, Alan? Yes, or, I do. They're ordered. Great. Okay. So I think that'll be popular. And we need to also publicize that. We're giving these out. Um, so, Julian, if you can meet with Shoshana and really try to make a big push on that. On getting the seedlings or no, on getting the word out. Oh, yes, absolutely. Absolutely. And um, maybe we'll just pass around by email a sign up sheet for when people can come help out rather than do that yeah. now with only four of us here. All right. And Miriam and partner, whose name I forgot, I'm sorry, um, you're both welcome to join us and staff the booth or just hang out and see what we're doing. So, yeah. Okay, um, back to the agenda. Okay, individual tree requests, we'll table that for now. Uh, town tree tour, that's really, we decided to do it in the fall. So, um, Helen, at some point you and I should get back together and figure that out again, but. Okay, uh, second Saturday plantings. We had a great planting this month. It was great and a lot of neighborhood help and uh, it was fun. Alan? Yeah, I mean, the, the Blue Hills Dana area, they're very active. They have a very active email chain, you know, in their neighborhood. Um, <coughs> so it's, I've had a lot of email follow up about how to maintain the tree and how to take care of it. And, you know, um, they're all public shade trees, they're all planted in the public way, but they still want to help, help them and protect them. <laughs> so I will continue to encourage them give them the information they need. We will be watering them as well. Um, so uh, Orchard des desperately needs trees. We, we have two more trees there that might need to come down. One definitely. Um, and I think we have some stumps left to grind. But um, I mean, that's, that's an option. Greenwich and Long Meadow, believe it or not, most of those would actually be private trees. They'd be setback plantings. Um, 
the redway there is not um, conducive for tree planting in the grass area because of all the utilities. Everything is, um, there's sidewalk on one side and it's too narrow to plant trees. And then on the other side, all the utilities run underground in the grass belt, so you can't, can't plant in it. So they'd all be setback planters, um, okay. which can be done. It's a little more complicated. Um, so which are we doing in May? Are we going to do uh, Orchard Street? Or do we have something else in mind? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we could do Orchard and uh, hop back over to Amity Street or something like that. There's a few more locations on Amity Street that might, I could use trees. Um, I could also talk to um, Amherst College and get some permission to do some of Northampton Road. They may have pulled back some of the construction project by May. Um, so okay. we could actually plant some of the stuff on Northampton Road in May. That would be and great. I know we've done a planting on McClellan, so that's all set, but what about going on Fearing Ave? Yeah, Fearing Ave is another one that desperately needs trees. They've lost a lot. Um, tough side, you know, the side with the uh, power lines, you know, there's no sidewalk over there, but there's you know, we can't plant under the power lines there very successfully with any sizable tree without going on private property. Um, and the sidewalk side, there's no, there's no room, you know, in the public way to plant, um, just a narrow grass belt. Um, I do want to plant there. Um, it's a little more challenging than Orchard. I think, I think Orchard and Northampton Road because next to one another, you know, um, yeah. would be a good, good place to go. So I'll start. I'll start working on that. Talking to Amherst College and seeing where we could plant trees. You know, on their property, they own most of the property, and from like orchard up to the center, um, those are all Amherst College properties. So. Yeah. All right. Why don't we um, plan that for the May planting? I may not be here for that planting, so hopefully the rest of you will all come out. It's on May 13th, the date. All right. Uh, town budget line item. I was supposed to write a letter to the editor, and I have not done that. I will try to get that done. I've just not been writing lately, but I will try to write that. So I apologize. Um, UMass interns. That's also Brit, so we'll postpone that. The tree nursery, nothing much to say right now. I think that's a longer term project, but I'd really be great if some of you can go show up at the um, the Greenfield Tree Nursery. If you need the location, I can. I posted it on Facebook, um, but if you need the location, contact me. That's the Saturday. Um, and then there's the old stuff. Anything new on the town tree nurse tree inventory, Alan? No update on that. I, um, I spent most of my time working on the Amherst history tree, that part of the grant, uh, getting everything buttoned up so I can get it all built out and get everything accomplished. So um, June 1st is deadline for submitting all the application for reimbursement for the grant. Um, and I'm trying to pull together slowly the, the inventory information. Um, yeah. so which may, may I'm just going to have to hit the inventory really hard, um, so. And when, uh, when is the work going to be done on the tree, on the big uh, sycamore? Yeah, probably uh, last week of April, first week of May, somewhere around there, uh, okay. looks like. It'd be interesting if, how that affects the, mm -hmm. the April 28th date. Yeah. Shouldn't, shouldn't interfere either way. Okay. 
All right, uh, that's good. I mean, we're getting, we're making through some of these. Some of these things are on the agenda and they take forever, but the History Museum grant and all the work is actually happening. It's very exciting. Um, next thing on the agenda, state uh, state level initiatives. And I haven't done anything about that lately. Um, I am still in touch with Joe Comerford and Mindy Dom, and I will continue to stay connected with them. Significant tree ordinance, Sarah, anything new on that? You can shake your head if you No, okay. And I, I'm sorry for the minutes, um, Alan, the, you said a June, First deadline to submit reimbursements. That's for that's what? for the DCR grants we got for the Amherst History Museum tree work, the Heritage Tree uh, grant we got for that, and then we also got a DCR grant to update our inventory um, and develop a management plan, uh, the urban forestry management plan. Okay, thank you. Yes, I see your email, Miriam. I will add that. Great, thank you. All right. Um, the only other thing is um, the Solar Action Committee. We talked about that. Unless Julian, you have anything more to add about that? No. Okay. I think we're more or less done with the agenda. Unless anyone has anything else. Um, let me just look at it one more time. Make sure. I just lead it no all right so there's no topics uh not reasonably anticipated by the chair so i think we can end the meeting before you do alan let me just grab this uh email address i could um i'll just add that um if anybody knows of somebody i've already talked to julian who uh, is looking for gainful employment over the, the summer month, we um, are trying to attract uh, seasonal employees for the summer. Um, we still have a vacant uh, position, full-time position in our division um, that we just haven't been able to fill for the past uh, five months, six months. So can't find people to work. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. Um, question about that. Uh, on the form, it said under, it said, are you under or over 18? I clicked under, but I'll be over 18 when I begin work. Will that be an issue? No, that won't be. Okay, great. Awesome. And you guys are pretty short staffed, basically, is what I'm hearing. Well, we're short staffed by one person, one full time employee. Okay. Um, yeah. so. how, how old do you need to be for the summer work? Uh, we strive for someone to be 18. Um, we have taken people who are 17, I'm told, in the past. Um, it's, these are basic seasonal labor jobs. Yeah. Um, I, my son is 16, so probably too young. I was hoping to apply last year when I was 16, but I felt I was a little young, so I did okay. it. Um, yeah, did they just reach back out to me for an interview? Uh, I didn't get an email or anything. So is that all that works? Or? Yeah, well, you should get an automated email that your application has been received. Um, and then it gets this, you'll get sent to, um, if you're, depending on which boxes you checked, you'll get sent to DPW. And then um, all the divisions in DPW will look at it. Um, if you selected any particular division like tree and grounds, um, then I'll get a, it'll get sent to me directly. Otherwise it gets dumped into a pool and we, we comb through them. Got it. It didn't have a space for me to set anything specifically, which was, okay. so I don't know, but you'll probably eventually see it. Have you seen it yet? I'll look for it. I'll log right. into the, cool. to the system and see if we're there. I may have gotten an automated email. I did not check. So I will look for that. Okay. All right, um, I got your email addresses and uh, I think we can end the meeting. Awesome. Thanks everybody. And and, uh, thanks everybody. I'll send an email around about uh, signing up to uh, take shifts at the sustainability festival. And I will see everyone there. That's probably the next yep. media event, yeah.
Thank you, everyone. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye-bye.